Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penjo and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty where last time out we did an awful lot of walking. There was so much walking last time out, it was a little bit silly really. Although actually that is a bit of a fib because we actually sprinted most of the time everywhere just to get to places a little bit quicker. But whatever the case, there was a lot of travelling between places but we did get some bits and bobs done last time. We got a quest done for Alwyn, our farmer friend, and Rasimir who we're playing as. He must now be supremely physically fit because he just walks around, he sprints around, he's been carrying logs. He must just be absolutely super fit to do all of this stuff and then just get up and just keep going every day. I mean his legs, his legs must be amazing. He has not skipped leg day because he just sprints and runs and walks everywhere and yet they must be, we can see his legs. Yes, there are his legs. I mean, they don't look overly impressive. I mean, underneath those trousers, underneath those very fashionable trousers, they're all the rage round here in this part of the world. But underneath those, that is a pair of legs that are honed to perfection right there. So well done, Rasimir. Um, also last time, we did build this lovely tavern here with the hope that we could use it to bake some bread. But unfortunately, the oven in the tavern does not appear until much later in the tech tree. So we're going to need to get some more tech tree points and then we can upgrade the tavern. And when we do, the oven will appear and then we can use our flour. I don't think our flour is going to last, however. I think we might just need to go and sell our flour, which is a bit of a shame because I kind of like the idea of making some lovely fresh bread. But alas, that is not to be. But I suppose the most exciting thing last time was that we got ourselves a bow, a proper weapon, a proper weapon. We got ourselves, no, not that bow, this bow. There we go, this bow here, which is wonderful. It's all very marvellous until we realise that now we need 50 units of feathers to make some arrows for it. 50 feathers. I mean, I think we've got seven. I think we looked last time and we had seven feathers. Let's just go into our wonderful log cabin house thing and just have a quick check. So I think, oh, nine, sorry, we've got nine units of feathers. So we need another 41 units of feathers. Bear in mind that those feathers are all that we've collected so far in the game. That's all we've happened across. So um, yeah, we're quite a way off from actually making some arrows. So unfortunately, this is a wonderful thing. This bow is very exciting, but it is a little bit pointless. It's only good for jabbing people in the eye, which is a bit of a shame because it would have been brilliant to hunt things with arrows and get our Robin Hood on. But Joe, you know what? There we go. Never mind. It was not to be. So we do have a few goals right now, however. One is to go and speak to Alwyn again. As you can see, Alwyn's story part three is there in the corner. So uh, yeah, he's got something to tell us, apparently. I don't really know what he's going to tell us, but there we go. We can go and find out. I also think we need to get somebody else moving into our little settlement here. Um, that is tricky than it sounds because as we saw last time we failed to persuade anyone at all to join us our conversational skills are really quite fabulously poor so I'd like to get at least one more person to join us that would be wonderful and then we also want to make ourselves a sewing building so we can make some hats because there are so many hats if we go to technology and go to crafting and sewing there's all sorts of things we can make so we can make linen thread and we can make bags and you know we can get shirts and stuff but here look we can make a straw hat or a flat straw hat, which sounds very exciting indeed. And we can make other things as well, like backpacks and shoes and whatever, but I'm not really bothered about those. We can make hats. We can make wonderful, wonderful hats. So I think that's going to be a goal as well, because I'd just like to have a hat. I'd like to have a hat to look glorious upon our medieval head. So there we go. So that is the plan. That's the plan for today, I think. And that sounds, you know, they're sort of nice achievable goals, apart from maybe getting people to join us because we seem to have the, the kind of personal skills of, of, I don't know, like I don't know, this water bucket or whatever. We're not overly good at talking to people, I do not think. But uh, first things first, let's, oh, we might need some food actually, first things first. Um, we're going to go and catch up with Alwyn the farmer and see what he wants though I do suspect he's going to give us some more stuff that he is entirely capable of doing himself but uh, first things first actually let's get something to eat what have we got to eat in here some rotten carrots mm. and there we go we've got one bit of stew that will keep us going for a little while so transfer that over that is very lovely and then we want to get ourselves yeah let's just uh, hang on we've got some we've got some rye grain in there I notice can we just sell that three rye grain can we just take that with us and we'll just take it to Gostovia and sell that on? Because we don't need that. And yeah, our flour. Our flour is not... Does the, is the flour going off? Does that decay a little bit slower? I don't know. Maybe we should keep the flour. Maybe we'll keep the flour then. Okay, fine. And then what can we do with rotten carrots? What can we do with this? Okay, I mean, it's really terrible. And it, there's a 100% chance that you can be poisoned by a rotten carrot which is a terrible way to go out if you got really ill from that. That would be very embarrassing. I wonder if we just chuck them in the barn. 
because there's rot there as well. A resource for crafting fertilizer in a barn. Maybe. Let's grab this. Let's grab the rotten carrots. Mmm, delicious rotten carrots. There we go. And then let's put the bow away as well. The slightly pointless bow. And then this is our lovely barn. Now, where do we put that stuff? Barn, workbench, and chest. I mean, I assume we just put the stuff in the chest then. So this stuff here, we can go, okay, uh, rot. Delicious rot. Throw that in. And the rotten carrots. Throw those in. Now, can we then go to here, go to the workbench and craft, craft anything? Fertilizer. No, we need 10 rot. Although we have to have it in our hands, apparently. Can we not just use, I mean, it's in the barn. The rot is in the barn storage. Can the games would not work out that we would like to use what we've put in the barn storage to do some barn work? Okay, clearly not. Never mind. Okay, well, there we go. Well, we've moved some stuff over. Um, Right, I think we need to eat that food before we drop dead. So let's have ourselves a little bit of lovely stew. Very nice indeed. That's got our hunger up. And then we'll run down to the river. Just have a lovely drink of water. I mean, we do have our water skin, actually, don't we? We have our water skin, but we'll save that if we're stood next to a river. There we go. Nice drink. And can we get our... Where is our water skin? Where is it there? There you go. Can we can we fill this up? Can we fill that up again? Because I think it had one... I think we drank from it at one point, didn't we? There we go. That's nice and full as well. Wonderful. Right, and now let's head off and have a chat with Alwyn. Okay, before we talk to Alwyn, who's over that way somewhere, let's have a quick talk with this chap and just see if we can get him to join our settlement. So hello there. Right, 53% approval. Okay, that's not brilliant, is it? We really have struggled with this. Hey, do you have a minute? No time for idle chit chat. Oh, we must have spoken to you today at some point. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll come back and chat to you in a bit. I really want to get somebody else in our settlement. I kind of think that's that's one of the big sort of draws of this game. You have a settlement and all the other people do the kind of work for you. I really want to get somebody else in. But yeah, it's quite tricky. It's very difficult to do that. Right, Alwyn. Hello, I'm just going to just ruin all your crops. I do apologise. Hey, friend, how are you? Long time no see, Alwyn. Didn't I see him yesterday? Um, how are you? You look sad. Uh, does he? Okay, fine. He looks sad. Hi. You will not believe what happened. He was given us 20 onion seeds for some reason. Okay, go on. Tell me. My hoe is broken. <laughs> I was... <laughs> oh no, the horror. I was expecting something a little bit more... Sort of, yeah, with a little bit more kind of impact to it. But okay, your hoe is broken. Do not laugh. It is important to me. Sorry, Alwyn. I apologise for laughing at your broken hoe. Uh, fine, then how can I help? Well, I've already ordered a new one from the from Falibor. A craftsman from the village on the other side of the river, north of here. Okay, that's fine. I haven't picked it up yet because I had a lot of work. Yes, indeed. Sure, I'll be happy to help you. Here, coins to pay Falador for the hoe. It should be enough. I know I can trust you in this matter. Do not be afraid. I will be back soon with your, with your coveted hoe. At least we're mocking him a little bit. Right, Alwyn's story continues. Yep, let's go and grab something from him. Uh, for him, sorry. Uh, right, hang on, though. Hang on. Let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can find somebody to do some trading with because I think there's somebody over here. Um, you actually, Adelina, you you sell things, don't you? And um, because you'll never guess what we picked up on the way back. Oh my goodness me, it was a massive pile of berries. So we'll sell the rye grain because we might as well. That gets us six gold. We can't do anything with it. Um, I picked up four sticks kind of accidentally, I think. We might have had some of them, but I picked some up while trying to grab berries. So you can have the sticks, that's fine. Um, and then we will sell... How about we sell 80 berries, which is lovely, so that gets us a nice pile of money, and then we'll keep some for ourselves and we'll eat some because we might well need a little bit of food just to keep us going. But okay... There we go. Have some berries. And we have 551 coins, mostly from selling berries, which is a little bit silly. But there we go. Um, Right. Let's pop across the river then. I know there's a bridge on this side. So, right. We'll go over the river. We'll try and chat to the person that Alwyn wants us to talk to. And then also, also we will um, we'll try and speak to the people over there as well. We'll try and have a chat with them and see if we can convince any of those to come and join our settlement, which I think we know the answer is going to be, no, it's not going to work, but we'll certainly give it a try. I thought rather than using the bridge, we could just have a swim. We could have a lovely swim in the river. Now, can we go under the water? No. Even out in the middle here, we can't kind of go under the water. So yeah, we either can't swim or it's not very deep. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know. But okay, that's fine. We're going across the middle of the water. I mean, it's nice. Look, it's a, it's a summer's day. In fact, is it the last day of summer? 
This is the, the sort of summer's dying light, if you like. So, yeah, we're getting ourselves a little swim, which is good. It gets nice and clean. It'll be very lovely, very refreshing. And um, it's a little bit quicker than just going to that bridge over there. So there we go. Right, so we've taken a bit of a shortcut. I mean, okay, yeah, now we are a little bit soggy at the moment, but we can get over here. We can find the chap that we want to speak to. He is 100 or so meters in that direction. Oh, for a fast travel button. Right, so let's wander over this way. Find wherever the chap is. Is he in that house? It looks like it. Is it that guy there? Is it that guy there? Right, hang on. Guy there, we're coming to talk to you. Um, oh yeah, you're here making some stuff. Hello, Falibor, how are you? Hello, Alwyn uh, sent me to pick up the hoe he ordered. Hi, did something happen to him that he had sent someone for it? He's he's very busy, he's very busy. No, he's just very busy with work. Yeah, work, right, I'm helping him. Nah, that boy, he's capable, but he takes on all the work and duties of his family. He doesn't see how much he limits himself. He is still young and can do a lot more than just work in a field every day. That's why I'm not the only one who sees that. If you're friends with him, maybe you will get through to him somehow. I will do my best. How much for his hoe? For Alwyn, it's 120 coins. Okay. So he gave us 150, so we've made a little bit of profit there. Thank you. Then I'm going back to him. Wait, one more thing. One hunter is looking for buyers for his bows. Are you interested? Not currently, no, but I'll keep it in mind. Thank you again for the hoe. Ah, so we don't have a bow. If we did not have a bow ourselves, we could have bought one from this hunter chap. Okay. Absolutely fine. Right there, there we go. Do you know what? We're just going to swim back across the river. We're just going to have a bit of a swim. Actually, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves... We need to eat something. Let's have let's have a bit of roasted meat. We'll have a little bit of that just to keep us going. There we go. A tiny snack of some roasted meat. And let's go straight back across the river. And Alwyn has come to sit around the campfire. So there you go, Alwyn. I'm back. Here is your hoe. Thank you. Did you have enough coins? Yes, Falibor even sold it cheaper for you. Give him 30 coins. I'm not going to rob him of 30 coins. He's, he's a young lad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Can you move out of the way? I'm having a conversation. Uh, Joe, he's a young lad. I'm not going to rip him off. Let's give him his 30 coins back. There we go. That's very kind of him. Keep the rest. You've helped me on more than one occasion. You deserve it, my friend. Oh, he get them to us anyway. That's quite nice. Okay, thank you. Um, And did you talk a bit with Fallible? What's new with him? We talked a bit. He mentioned that some hunter he knows is looking for buyers for his bows. Really? What? Are you interested? I don't know. I've never shot with a bow, I guess. I wouldn't be good at it. Um, I mean, I don't know if I have. I certainly haven't so far while I've lived here and I'm not going to anytime soon because we seem to lack any kind of arrows. And um, what's the harm in trying it? You have a completely different approach to life than I do. Maybe I do. But you may be right. I have to think about all of this. Fine, I'll leave you with your thoughts. See you next time. Okay, there we go. Right, I just realised we didn't speak to anybody across the river. I completely forgot about that. Can we talk to this guy again? No, no, we cannot. And now it's going to be too dark and terrible to do anything. Um, do you know what? Let's just go back home. It's very pretty. It looks lovely when you look up into the sky. That's very nice. Right, let's just run back home. Let's run all the distance back home. I mean, it does make me think that we should have set up shop a little bit nearer, just for kind of ease of access. Because it takes absolutely ages to run between our settlement and the Gostover over there. I mean, I don't quite know how near we could have set up. But I imagine maybe over here would have been quite good as well. I mean, our place is in a really good location. It's on kind of the bend of the river and it's very, very nice. It's near some big sort of road bits. But it's just, hang on, let's get the torch out. But it just takes ages to go between places. It just takes a long, long time. But there we go. Right, let's run home. We'll have a sleep and we shall say farewell to, I think it's summer. We'll say farewell to summer and then we shall welcome in the autumn. Okay, so we're back at home and we've got these onion seeds that we got given. We now have 40 onion seeds, but unfortunately we can't do anything with these because they have to be planted in spring and collected in summer. So we have to wait quite a long time to actually get our hands on the onions from these. So let's move all of those to our storage and then I think everything else we'll just sort of, we'll keep our hands on. I don't think we need to drop anything else into there right now. We're kind of at half capacity. That's not so bad. So, we're, I mean, we have three beds. Which one shall we sleep in? Do you know what? Do you know what? I, it, I feel a bit fancy. Let's sleep in the double bed. Let's treat ourselves. Let's have a little sleep in the double bed. And we'll wake up with all of our sort of hunger and uh, water needs refreshed. And it is autumn. And it's miserable out there. It is miserable and dismal and all sorts of terrible. Um, okay, I think we might have a spot of uh, of gardening to do. Right, we've got some carrots. Yay for the carrots. Four carrots. Oh, hello there, Frida. How are you? Um, so, right. So, four carrots. That's really quite exciting. Yay for the carrots. Um, 
Okay, well there we go. So we've done the first of our goals. We've kind of done the first thing. We've gone to speak to Alwyn. It was a little bit strange, but okay. So we've done what he wanted to do. Right, now maybe, maybe. Let's take a quick look at what we need to actually get ourselves. Uh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Building and then, and then crafting. What do we need to get a sewing thing in? Eight logs. Eight logs. That's all we need to get a sewing thing sorted. Right, hang on. I imagine Frida here has been super busy just hacking down trees magically without actually you know, removing them from the world. And um, I imagine there's still quite a lot of logs there. A hundred, 196 logs. I think we've got eight spare. Um, do you know what? We'll take, we'll take 10 and we'll get a few of the bits down. We'll get a few of the sort of the base bits down. Right, we are a little bit, a little bit over our carry weight. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. And uh, where do we want to put our lovely kind of sewing hut thing? I mean, I'm thinking if we could put it just here. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind putting it right there. So uh, let's see if we can get that in. So uh, right, where was it? Crafting, sewing hut thing. Um, yeah, there, that'll do. Absolutely. It looks like it's sort of an open-sided sort of thing anyway. So um, yeah, pop that just there. And then we do have ourselves two extra logs so we can finish something off. Although our hammer does look very... In fact, you know what? We might need to craft ourselves a new hammer. Um, no, we need another log. Uh, no, we don't, no, we don't. We don't need any logs, but we do need 10 sticks. We need some more sticks in order to craft ourselves a new hammer. Okay, I mean, sticks can't be hard to sort of find. We live near a forest, so let's just go and grab some sticks. And there's mushrooms as well. We will absolutely collect some delicious and possibly poisonous mushrooms. Okay, so let's make ourselves a new hammer because the one that we've got is going to break. That's going to fall apart. So we have ourselves a nice shiny wooden hammer to replace the one that we've got that's going to break. And um, yeah, this needs this needs a log. Boom. Oh no, the sticks are going in first, eh? And, a, and, and it needs more sticks. And I think a hammer is broken. Uh, does that get worn out even if it's not doing anything? So if there's no resources when you hit it, it, when you use it, it still kind of wears the hammer down. Okay, fine. So what do we need? We need a number of logs. Um, I mean, do we... Oh no, now I might have missed the chance to change the building, the wall type. Although it does not look like we can change that one. It doesn't look like we can change that. We can't change like thatch roof or anything. Okay, never mind. So what do we need? We need a great number of logs. I'm not entirely sure how many we need for the ceiling. Possibly four for the ceiling. Uh, five, six, seven. We'll grab eight logs. And then we still need loads of sticks. But if we can grab eight logs, that's at least a start. Okay, I have with me many logs. So apply a log, apply a log, apply a log. Wonderful. Right, okay. So one log there. Ah, yeah. So it covers quite a bit of the ceiling. So another log there. Uh, another one there. That's fine. Another one just there. And then do we need anything for here? Yes. One more done. And then we just need sticks. We need so many sticks. I mean, of course, you get sticks from chopping down trees. You get quite a lot of sticks when you cut down a tree. I think the first sort of strike you do with the axe once the tree is down is you get maybe sort of five or six sticks, something like that. But then we don't really want to be having to cut down all the trees and then take the logs and do all that kind of stuff. So again, we're just going to have to go back into the woods and just pick up sticks. This game will just have to become stick picking up simulator again. But okay, fine, here we go. Many sticks are around here somewhere. The game is doing that odd thing where it's playing really dramatic, tense music that doesn't really fit the situation. So, you know, I'm wandering around in a wood in the rain, picking up sticks off the floor, and the music's really, really tense as well I'm being chased or hunted or something really terrible is happening. But it's not. I'm just really nicely and calmly picking up a massive load of sticks. So it does seem all slightly strange. Yeah, the music kind of doesn't really fit the moment. Okay, all the sticks have been deployed to the walls and now we just need straw. So I think we're gonna need, uh, what's that? Eight lots of that, that's 16. Two lots of 16 is 32, maths with penge. And then that bit there is another eight. So, okay, so I think we need 40 bits of straw. I think that's what we need. We do have some straw in here, although I do not know how much. I think we've got 40 straw. Uh, 16, so it's not bad. It's not a bad amount of straw, but it's not brilliant. Right, we'll put those 13 sticks in storage and then we'll take the straw out which is always quite good. So there you go. So we'll exchange sticks for straw. Run back this way. We'll put the straw in. We'll put as much straw as we've got into the thing. So right, so we'll do this kind of front bit just there. There we go. Lob some straw in. That takes quite a chunk. Um, and I think, yeah, we've got enough for one more section just there. 
that will finish that one bit of roof off. 67% complete. And we've completed an, uh, unlocked, sorry, an excavation shed. A worker building for mining rock, salt, and limestone or digging clay. The work range is limited to 50 meters. It should be built near the entrance of the caves, clusters of rocks, or clay deposits. Oh, okay. So that goes forth and allows people to go mine rock, salt, or limestone, or clay. So I see what happens in this. So I imagine we came across a clay deposit at one point, and we got our shovel, and we dug out the clay deposit, and we got two or four or six, where it was. We got a number of bits of clay, but then the clay deposit was then used. It was gone. It was empty. It was no more. So I think what we must do is we must try and build these buildings and then deploy people to them. And if we deploy other people to them, then the resources are endless. As we've seen with Frida cutting down the trees. When we go to cut down a tree, we chop, chop, chop the tree, it falls down, and then there's a stump, we dig up the stump, and then the tree is gone from the world. When Frida goes forth and uh, apparently chops down a tree, she doesn't actually chop the tree down. She kind of gets the stuff from it, she gets the logs from it, but the tree remains in the game. And it must be the same for all of the other kind of things. So if there's rock or limestone or clay or whatever, then yes, there's people working it, it's just kind of an infinite source of stuff, I imagine. Okay, well, there we go. We have ourselves access to an excavation shed. I don't imagine we're going to be building one of those anytime soon. Um, okay, right. So we need to get ourselves now a great big armful of straw. So there was some over here. There were like reeds and stuff over this way. I don't know if they are still around now. Oh yeah, there's loads over here. There's absolutely loads. So, okay, right. We'll be absolutely fine. We just need to grab a great big load of these. We are getting two bits of straw from some of these. We're getting two sometimes when we pick them up. So, okay, that's not bad, right? We'll just pick up a few more of these. Okay, we are back with much in the way of straw. So let's deploy this straw with the uh, gentle application of this great big kind of wooden hammer just here. There we go, bit of straw. And the last few bits going in. And this should finish this building off. There we go. We've completed a sewing building. Oh, and this stuff has magically appeared out of nothing. Okay, so we have a loom which we can interact with. Okay, so what does the loom do? That makes linen fabric or wool fabric. Okay, so we need obviously some wool thread or some linen thread. Okay, don't know where we get those from. And then the tailoring table lets us make some stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, hang on. This is wonderful. A bag hat. Oh, I really want to make a bag hat or a hat that's wool fabric. Oh, this is wonderful. And look, we, oh no. We haven't got the tech to make a straw hat, but we could get the tech to get ourselves a straw hat. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay. Okay, right. Well, there we go. So, oh, we've got a little spinning wheel. Oh, what does this do? Flax stalk. Ah, flax stalk turns into linen thread. And obviously, wool turns into wool thread. So, flax stalk. Um, okay. Is that a thing we find? Or we grow? Or what? I, I assume it's a thing we grow, is it? Is flax a thing we grow? Uh, or is it a thing that occurs naturally? I don't know. Should we be looking for flax? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know. We've got we've got ourselves a field that we've not done anything with. Um, right, I'm not entirely sure what we do with flax, but I'm not overly bothered. Right, we've got ourselves a lovely little kind of sewing place. And one thing I did think, and we possibly should have done this earlier, but um, if we go into here and go to technology, we have got an okay amount of money. We've got 431 monies. We don't have to pay anything for a little while. What do we need to pay? We need to pay, when it comes to it, 410 gold. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of money we have to pay out. Um, however, what we could do is, we could go to, is it there? Which one is it? Um, no, here, survival. Go to here. We could purchase ourselves a bird trap. Because that would get us some birds, which gets us feathers and a bit of meat as well, which is okay. And all you need is two sticks and two stones, which you, know, you can find. So how about we treat ourselves to a bird trap and then we'll place one down. So now I don't know if we can have a rabbit trap and a bird trap. I'm not entirely sure. So, um, okay. So uh, is it other and then traps? So we can have a bird trap and a rabbit trap. So right, the rabbit trap needs a massive load of sticks. That needs sticks and stones. Okay. We do have, in our house, I think we've got quite a few stones stored away. A big box full of stones, like a, like a crazy person. So there we go. And there are enough sticks in here, which is wonderful. Okay, so we should be able to make two traps, if we're allowed to. I don't know if we're allowed to. Um, okay, well, let's give it a go, shall we? So other traps. Right, let's make a bird trap and we'll just put that. We want to put it somewhere we can actually find it because that would be bad. Um, can we just put it? 
there. So put the bird trap there. Oh yeah, that, that's that's really advanced. I'm glad we paid 80 gold for access to this, which is essentially a rock and some sticks kind of, you know, aligned nicely. Why did we pay 80 gold to unlock the secrets of this? We just we just built a building. We just built an actual building and presumably we built a loom and a, and a spinning wheel thing and everything else. And and then we've had to pay 80 gold to get access to some sticks with a brick leaning on them. I, I kind of feel like we might have been ripped off a bit there, but okie dokie. <laughs> that, seems, that doesn't quite seem right. But okay, and traps, a rabbit trap. Yeah, we'll have another one of these and we'll just pop that over here. This is kind of where this was before anyway, I think. So, um, yeah, that'll do. And the rabbit trap is done as well. And that'll help with our sort of survival tech stuff if we ever catch anything in them, which is lovely. And once again, we're on the long, long road back to Gostovia. Okay, we have arrived in Gostovia. There is a man kind of doing an incredible balancing act. Well done, sir. But a few people have said that if we use our kind of magic spider sense kind of vision thing, we should be able to see people that might want to join our settlement. So if we do that now, ah, yes, we can see their skills. Okay, so these three people might want to come and join us. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, hang on. We need to try and talk to you and impress you. Um, do you have a minute? How have you been? Oh my goodness. Okay, please tell me that's another option. How have you been lately? He's up to 70 already. Hang on a minute. We talked to people before and it took so long and so many failures. At this guy, we've just asked him the same question twice and now he wants to join us. Okay, Joe Watt, I'm creating a new settlement. Please come and join us. I'm not even bothered what you were good at. I just want more people there. Absolutely. Sounds what I was looking for. With pleasure. Yep, yeah, it's that way. It's not, no, it's not. It's that way. <laughs> it's not that way, sir. It's that way. I'm glad you know the way. Okay. Right. So one new person has joined us. Oh, the guy who we've been talking to for ages is going to be really, really annoyed. It's not him, is it? No. Um. Okay. Otelia. Right. Okay. Do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Oh, that's only five for her. She's not that bothered. Okay. Um. How have you been lately? That's up to 60. Right. Do you have a minute? Um... Okay, I, I don't like the fact that you... These two options seem a bit naff to me. How's the job? I mean, I assume she doesn't have a job, which is why she's sat around all day by this campfire. And um, recently I got into hunting, got any tips. That just seems a little bit kind of pointless, but I mean, it's going to be better than how's the job. Um, she doesn't really care about that. Do you have a minute? Um, let's go back from working in the field. I guess we could try that. Nope, she is absolutely not impressed by that. And now we're done and she doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. <laughs> Right? She doesn't like us. Brilliant. And um, Pepin. Well, I'm going to stand on a thing as well, just because you are. You show off. Good hat. Oh, that's a wonderful hat. I want that hat. Um, okay. Hey, do you have a minute? Um, how's the job? I hope you're doing all right. Let's ask him that. Minus five. <laughs> it's hard and dirty, and I wish I could work in some cozy place like the sewing. I mean, we've got a sewing place. It's right there for you. But for some reason, you don't want to join because I asked you how you are. So, okay, do you have a minute? And and there we go. Right. Well, okay, mixed fortunes. We've got one person in very easily and these two just uh, you know, playing hard to get. Okie dokie. That's, that's the way it is. Um, what does that mean in the top left corner? We've got a picture of one and a, it's a red one and a person outline and then a house. We've got plenty of housing i think for him or do we need to manage what house he goes to he's homeless oh hang on a minute hang on hang on simple small house um i mean does he not choose his own house open details assign tenant okay you go and live in that house there you go that's what it must mean it must mean that somebody is homeless did i not did i not just confirm that um, it looks like I confirmed it. It doesn't say he's homeless anymore. Oh, there we go. The warning thing has vanished. Wonderful. Okay. Um, right. Why were we in Gustover again? Apart from to try and convince people to join us. I've completely forgotten. I genuinely can't remember. I think we just came to get some people. I think we just came along to try and talk to some people and one of them has joined us, which is wonderful. And we could do with having a little bite to eat. So we'll eat some of that roasted meat and then we'll have the rest of those berries as well, because why not? There we go. And do you know what? We'll treat ourselves. Let's really spoil ourselves and have ourselves a carrot as well. Wowie, that's very exciting. Uh, but we could carry on Alwyn's story, Alwyn's thrilling, thrilling tale, because yes, we've now got another sort of objective. We waited for the next season. The next season is here. Talk to Alwyn is a thing. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's go and have another chat with our good farmer friend. And where is he? There he is, Alwyn. No, that's Edwin. Alwyn, where are you? There you are. Hi, Alwyn. 
looking really busy. Absolutely so busy with the work there. Um, but they go, right, hi, how are you, friend? Hi, Alwyn, what's new with you? You look different. He does look different. He's wearing slightly fancier things. Um, I've been thinking a lot lately about what I'm doing with my life, what I really want. And I want something new. I would like to learn to shoot with a bow. It sounds like a very serious life decision. For me it is. Would you help me find that hunter who sells bows? I don't know what awaits me along the way, and you can clearly take care of yourself. The expedition, you say? Count me in. Great. Lead the way. We can also ask Fallible where he is exactly. End dialogue. Oh. Oh, hang on. You're doing... Uh, right now. As in, you're doing this right now. You're going to follow me? Oh, look. You're tagging along. Oh, this is very exciting. Right. Hi. Me and Alwyn are going to go and find somebody else, and he's going to buy a bow and become a hunter. Cheerio. Bye-bye, farm. Um, yeah, we're going to go this way. We're going to go along here, Alwyn. And, I mean, do you like swimming? Do you like swimming? Because we're going to go, we're going to have a little swim. We're going to swim across the river just because it's quicker. Just because it's quicker, Alwyn. That's the only reason. And it's quite nice. It's refreshing. You know, autumn, a bit of, you know, autumn kind of water there. It'll be all sorts of bracing. Here we go. Deep breath in. And, oh, there we go. I mean, it's a bit fresh. But in we come, Alwyn. Right, let's just get over to the other side. Oh, hang on a minute. We're going to talk to Sambor. He's the guy who lives on his own in the woods near all those wolves. Oh, right. I see. Like that, is it? I hadn't realised that. I thought we were coming across here to talk to the chappie in this village. But no, we're wandering off to speak to Sambor. He was the chappie we were speaking to really early on in the series. And yeah, we got attacked by wolves and he just sort of stared at us and sort of ignored the fact that we were being butchered by an animal at the time. Oh, OK. OK, this could be very, very interesting indeed. Let's hope we stay out of the way of the, uh, you know, the sort of uh, evil wolves. Everything looks very pretty. It looks really lovely. Look at the lovely colours of the trees. It's very nice. Um, however, yeah, let's hope that we don't get mauled by wolves again. Oh, look, there's one of those bison things that we're supposed to be hunting. What are they called? I can't remember what they're called. They're called a wizard. That's one of those, I think, because, yeah, I didn't know what they were. And a lot of people in the comments said, I think it's like a sort of a buffalo or whatever, a bison. There it is. There is a wizard. Unfortunately, I think we only have one wooden spear on us. Yeah, we've got one wooden spear. I do not imagine that we could take one of those down with one lone wooden spear. So, right, we'll leave it for now. It's absolutely fine. It's all good. Um, more important that we get to this hunter chappy. Okay, we have avoided all wolves. Um, did this guy have two buildings before? I thought he only had the one building before. He seems to have two buildings now. He's expanding a little bit. Um, right, is this you? Hi, Sambor. Are you looking at something interesting? Sorry to interrupt. Hello. Hello, my friend. Alwyn here would like to buy a bow from you. Is your friend dumb? What? That's a bit rude, Sambo. No, of course not. It's just I'm a talker. Have you ever had an arrow in your knee? <laughs> Stand in silence. Good answer. Now make a deal with him. Okay. P proceed to make a deal with him. Talk to Alwyn. Oh my goodness. Me. Right. Hello. He seems annoyed. He probably didn't kill anything for a long time or anyone. I guess I'll have to go back and change clothes now. What? Why would, you, why would you do that? Um, he's so intimidating. He probably eats bears for breakfast. Well, you already have a bow. Everything is ahead of you. Do you have a bow? When you haven't got to talk to him. I don't understand. This is very confusing. Here, take it. <gasps> a few arrows from those I bought for helping me again. No problem. Any time. He's given us some arrows. Oh, it's a joyous, joyous day. I'm going to jump up and down in sheer jubilation. Oh my goodness me. He just gave us some arrows. Oh, and now he's able to go back on his own, is he? He was like, oh, please come with me. I don't know the way. You're able to take care of yourself. But now he's just going back on his own. He's not even following the path. He's being a complete rebel and he's just avoiding the path. Okay, right. And we got a skill. We got a diplomacy point. Um, I mean, frequent buyer. That makes perfect sense. 5% lower buying prices. Yeah, absolutely. We'll take a point in that, please. Okay, 20 iron arrows. Let's equip those. So now we've got some arrows equipped. So if we now go to that. Oh, yes. Oh, that is wonderful. This is very exciting. Right, okay, right. We might have to go and do a spot of hunting with some arrows. That is very, very good. I've just caught up with Alwyn. There he is. He's making a very slow sort of uh, slow journey home. Why don't you just run, Alwyn? Why don't you run? Just sprint. It makes things a heck of a lot easier. There's one of those wizard things just there. I mean, is it worth me trying to have a go at one of those? Is it worth having a go? I mean, we've got some arrows. The thing is, it's going to be really, really dark. And you're just going to scare it away. Brilliant. Thanks. Thanks, friend. That was really, really good. Cheers. That, yeah, that, that really helped matters. That is brilliant. Okay. 
If we can get round here. Oh, there's a deer. Right, this is, it is very dark right now. It's really, really dark. So if we just do this, if we then just shoot. Ah, so we draw it back a bit like we do with the um the things, with the um the spears. And then we just go plump. And there we go. Right. So did the arrow fall down? I think the, oh, the iron arrow is, <laughs> the iron arrow is stuck in the thing, which I can barely see. Um... Where's, hang on, we'll do this. We'll track the arrow using our magic spidey senses because I can't see anything. I think it's just there. Right, so shoot it like that. I think that help. Where, it, oh, this is really hard to see. Right, now there's two iron arrows sticking out of the thing. <laughs> oh dear, Where, oh, right, this is really hard to see anything. This is, ah, right, it's just there, I think. This is, like, I, it could be mauling me to death in a moment. I can't see a thing at all. Oh, there it is. It probably isn't best pleased with us. It's probably not overly happy. Um, right, okay. Right, iron arrow. Oh, no, hang on. What have I done there? What's that? Oh, no, I've, I, why have I got my carrot bag of seeds out? No, no, not that. Get this. The only thing is, now I kind of feel like I need to finish this thing off because, obviously, I've started. I've started firing at it, so it's got things... It's got, like, you know, arrows in it that I want to get back. So I think maybe we need to just chase after it now. There it is. Right, shooty shoot. And can we shooty shoot again? Shooty shoot. And, oh, shooty shoot again. There we go. Is it still alive? My goodness me. Oh, oh, it seems a bit grumpy. It's very a bit grumpy that we're firing arrows at it. There's another one. I think we've just got it. I think we've just got it. I can barely see. And I apologise because I know this game is very, very dark. But yeah, if you look up at the sky, it's nice. But obviously, it's night time. We're in ye olde medieval times. So apologies if this is just a load of sort of darkness on the screen. I'll try and sort of brighten it a bit. But let's skin this thing. Not that I can see what we're doing at all in any way. Right, so get this. And we got ourselves one, two, three, six arrows back. Four fur, three leather, eight meat. Okay. Okay. So the arrows are pretty good if you can go and get them back, which is obviously very, very handy. Um, right, where are we going? What direction should I be going in? Kind of that way, I suppose. Oh, I can hear something else sort of jumping around. I can't see anything. Right, let's just go home and let's go to bed and wake up when it's not so dark. Okay, so I've been running home and this is the path toward our town. So our town is over there a little way. But there is a chap here walking along the path toward our settlement. That cannot be the guy that we got to join us earlier. He cannot have only just got here. I mean, Gustovia is only just over the brow of that hill and over a little bit. That can't be that guy. He surely should be there by now. What have you been doing? Did you get distracted by something? I mean, I completely understand. If there was a lovely butterfly or something, yeah, you got distracted. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, you've taken a long, long time to get here, if that's you. In fact, you know what? We can go and check, can't we? He's called, he's called Neymar or something, I think, isn't he? Um, yeah, Naime. It is him. It's him. Oh my goodness me. Right, well, there you go. Okay, fine. He's taking an awfully long time to go and do anything. Okay, right. Let's get him over to our place. We'll just, Joe, we'll go to sleep. We'll wake up and when we wake up, I imagine he'll be in one of his houses and then we can give him a job. Oh my goodness, it's dark. Let's just go to sleep and let's just, let's just get some light. Hooray, I can see. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Right, okay. I assume Chappie has now, you know, made his way over here. So what do we actually want him to do? Ooh, ooh, rabbit trap. Absolutely, get the rabbit out of that and reset it, thank you. And bird trap. Has that got something? The really advanced bird trap. Yes, it has. And collect the stuff. Eight feathers. Oh, you get eight feathers from this highly sophisticated bird trap. Okay, that's quite good. Right, so Frida will be off doing various bits and bobs. So what do we get? What do we get him to do? And how did we do this in the first place? I can't remember how we assigned him a job. Assign him a workplace. There we go. Okay. So food storage. Don't think we need anybody working in the food storage. Hunting lodge. That might be quite good. Get somebody working in the hunting lodge. Yeah. Go and work there, please. Go and be a hunter or a gatherer. Ah. So the gatherer will go and get berries and we'll have you. And the hunter obviously goes and does hunting. Yeah. Go and be a hunter. Oh. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay. So now is he going to come out of his house and go into a spot of hunting? Is he going to do that? Where are you? Chappy? I don't know which one of these houses you're in. Um, yeah. I've got, would you like, I have work for you. Yeah, go, go, go and do hunting. <laughs> you're a hunter now. That is your job. Go and do the hunting. You cannot hunt from inside this house. That is not how hunting works. You need to go and find animals and go and kill them. 
I did that yesterday. It was brilliant. Oh yeah, I should possibly sort the food out, shouldn't I? We got some meat from that. Hang on, this is very confusing. Can we not make stew? I thought we could make some stew. Hang on. We've got meat and we've got carrots. It says technology scheme is not unlocked. We've made stew before, game. What's changed? Why can't we make stew? And we've made meat with gravy before as well. Okay, we can't make that now because we lack onions. But we have made that before. It's never been locked away from us. I assume the game has been updated. And that's something that we need to... That we need to purchase now? Oh, crikey. It's okay, right. Where would that be? So fishing hut is all sorts of different things. Where's where's the food then? Would it be in here? Barn, hen house, pigsty, food storage two, barns, folds. Oh, look at the amount of things there are. Many barns. Um, okay, smithies and sewing and taverns. Um, not so much on that one there. And then this has got loads. Mines and proper house and resource storage three. I don't know where the food stuff is. Where would we unlock all those food things that you told us about? Um... Okay, do you know what? Never mind. Right, we've got 351 monies. I think we might have to go forth and just get ourselves a lovely hat. I would like, I know it's a bit more expensive, I'd like a flat straw hat. 15% heat protection, no cold protection, and um, yeah, we need 20 straw. What does that one give us? That gives us, that's exactly the same, but it just requires a little bit less straw. Okay, and the flat straw hat weighs ever so slightly less. Okay, that's a bit strange. Um, yeah, go on. Let's spend a bit of money on that. I know we don't really have the money for this, but okay, we'll do that. And then can we make something out of leather? We must have a massive pile of leather. We must have so much leather carrying around. We've got seven on us right now and fur as well. So can we, can we unlock some stuff that we can make in our little sewing place. I just like the idea of just making some nice things. Linen thread, we can't unlock that. We haven't got flax. A bag. Leather and linen fabric. Okay, can't do that. That's linen thread. That's linen fabric. That's fur. A capelet. Is that like a is that like a cape? Can we make a cape? That would be exciting. Hang on, what have we got on? What have we got on? So we've got ourselves. Uh where is it? Where's our stuff? So we've got ourselves. A pair of, yeah, the lovely sort of fashionable trousers, a shirt and some shoes, boots and a hood. Well, we haven't got gloves. We could do with having some gloves on. That might be quite nice. You know, winter coming up and everything. So some gloves might be quite a nice thing to get our hands on. So, um, so hang on, which one was it? That one there and sewing. So um, thick leather gloves requires 20 leather. We must have that. We must have 20 leather. We must have so much of it just sitting there. So, okay, we'll spend money on that. So we're going to make ourselves some gloves and a hat. Okay. And there's there's pants with the wraps. Oh, right. Okay, I see. Right, there's pants with the wraps. <laughs> is there any boots with the fur? I don't think there is. Um, no, okay. We'll have the thick leather gloves, please. Uh, yeah, 200 to make that. 200 money. It's so expensive. Okay, 200 coin. For some reason, we can't cook food anymore. We can only do roasted meat. Um, yeah, okay, right. Well, we'll roast all that meat because we are a bit hungry. So, okay, fine. We'll roast all the meat. This might take a while. And that's finished. We have some lovely roasted meat. Yeah, we still can't do anything here. That's a bit strange. I don't quite know why that's been locked away from us. Never mind. And then let's just go and eat some of that stuff because we are a little bit hungry. We'll treat ourselves to another delicious carrot. Yay for health. And then we'll just have a load of meat. Absolutely, just four bits of that. That's very nice. Okay, so now... If we go over to here, let's pop over to the, uh, I assume it's just the tailoring table, I guess. Right, so what did we get? Hands, okay, so can we do this? Right, so that requires leather. Okay, we need to pick that up. And then our, our head, we need some straw. Okay, so we need two bits of straw and then we need all of the leather. Okay, right, hang on a sec, let's get all the stuff. I've had an idea. I've had a wonderful, wonderful idea. While I was out here, just, you know, paddling around at the edge of the river, picking up all these reeds, an idea just popped into my head and we're going to run with it. We're going to run with it. It does require us collecting an awful lot of straw. Now, how much carry capacity have we got? We've got loads. We've got absolutely loads. So we have ourselves 74 straw right now. It does not weigh very much at all. So let's pick up as much straw as we can from here. Let's grab as many reeds as we can possibly fit into our gigantic pockets. Okay, much straw has been acquired and we're back in our little sort of sewing shack. And it's lovely because it's raining out there. We come under here and it's all nice and dry. So here we go, right. Job number one, let's make ourselves our gloves. There we go, hands. We can make a pair of thick leather gloves. Let's do that. So craft this. That is not gloves game. 
Game? They're not gloves. I've seen gloves before. That That's not a pair of gloves. Okay, fine. Also, surely, surely we'd need some sort of thread. Okay, we need leather. We need leather to make the gloves. I get that. You know, it's thick, so maybe we're using a lot of leather. I'm sure they're really comfy, but surely we need some sort of thread to make the bits of leather stick together. I don't quite know how we've kind of managed to do that without any sort of thread whatsoever, but okay, there we go. So we have ourselves somewhere on here, we should have some thick leather gloves. So we can equip those and there we go. We've got stuff on. So we're only lacking, well, I don't know what that slot is, a bucket and a, a backpack or something I imagine. So that looks like a bucket, that looks like a backpack and then something on our head. Okay, we can certainly sort out the headgear. So here we go, a flat straw hat. Let's do this. Again, that's not a hat, but he has got the gloves on. I mean, they do look a little bit like, <laughs> a little bit like murderers gloves, but okay. If you were gonna go out and assassinate somebody, they're the kind of gloves you'd wear, but okay. And now we have ourselves a wonderful hat. Let's put that on. We're wearing a hat. Now I don't think, unfortunately, that we can see, I don't know how we've got that wheel up either. How has that wheel just appeared? How has... Okay, we've got a wheel of useful things. That's really quite useful. Okay, um, how do we make it go away? I don't want any of this stuff. Go away, wheel. Leave me alone. So I've just had a look through all of the different key bindings, and unfortunately there is not an option, it doesn't seem there is, for us to actually have a look at what we look like now. We cannot go into like a third person mode and take a look at ourselves in our wonderful hat and gloves. I am sure we look amazing. I mean, we can see that we've got gloves on. We can see our gloves. We will not be able to see our hat, which is unfortunate because I would love to take a look at our hat, but never mind, that's not a problem. However, there is something wonderful that we could do. There is something very exciting indeed. So back over at the river, we picked up an awful lot of straw. We have 222 bits of straw, which means that we could go to here and we could make ourselves an awful lot of hats. We could make 11 flat straw hats and that is precisely what we're gonna do. We're gonna become a hat trader. That is exactly, that, 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 it's brilliant. That's the dream, that is the dream. We get to make hats and then sell them. I mean, you know, it's a bit sad that we sell them but we have our own hat and we can share the glory of our personally made, handcrafted, bespoke flat straw hats. We can share the majesty of them with other people for you know, a little bit of money, obviously. So uh, this is gonna take an absolute age to make these because for some reason, making a straw hat requires a needle and a, an old t-shirt, but okay, it's fine. I'm sure we'll make plenty of hats in good time. I think this is the final hat that we're making. Not that you'd guess from looking at it, but I think that's it. I think we've made all of our hats that we can make. So how many do we have? We should have 11 of them. And they're worth, are they worth 50 a pop? Okay, I mean, that won't be what we sell them for because we're not that good. But yeah, if we were brilliant at trading, we could get them for 50. Okay, I think it's definitely worth a run over to Gostovia. Let's just pop over to Gostovia again, which is a gazillion miles in that direction. Let's go over and just sell some hats. Let's start our new life as a hat trader. Okay, there's a couple of people around the campfire who we might be able to sway around to our side. Okay, I mean, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? That's gone up to 63. How, uh, whatever it was, whatever option says, hey, what's going on? Um, got into hunting a what a day. Um, got into hunting, I don't think that impressed her. What a day, up to 68. Do you have a minute? Um, how have you been? 73, right, please come and join me. Yes, absolutely, another person has come to join us. A new villager, oh, it is glorious. And, um, and um, you, Pepin. Okay, you're only on 48%. Hey, do you have a minute? How have you been? That's quite good, hey. And um, had any gossip? Okay, he's okay with that. And do you have a minute? And what a day. No, he didn't like that. Do you have a minute? And he's gonna tell me to clear off. Okay, head over to the settlement place then. It's fine. Oh no, we need to give you a house, don't we? Hang on, let's give you a house. I assume she's gonna share with Frida. She can only move into one house. So I assume that's Frida's house. I assume, yeah, because you know, they don't want to mix a man and a woman in a house. So I guess it can be a house of the two ladies. But okay, yeah, you go into that house then. Um, and then, yeah, can we give you a job as well? Can we do this right now? Um, I can't seem to click on you for some reason. What's going on there? Uh, right, so, um, yeah, Otelia, so you have, what can be your job? So assign you a thing. Um, I mean, ideally I'd like someone doing farming, but I don't think, is there a thing here? Barn one, farming. Yeah, go and do some farming, absolutely. Go and do a farmer or a field worker. Um, okay, a farmer. 
Possibly. Go and do a farmer job. What's the difference between a farmer and a field worker? I don't know. Maybe a farmer plants stuff and a field worker harvests them. That's a little bit silly, isn't it? Okay. Okay, wonderful. And how are things How are things actually looking at the settlement? Um, th uh, 32 food, loads of wood. Still need to pay a bit of money and we can only have one more building. But population of four, a mighty four people live there. Um, right, okay. I think that man might have just fallen out of the sky. But okay, that's fine. Uh, right, Unigast. Unigast, you're the boss around here. I've got hats. Would you like some hats, my good sir? Um, we can sell them for 18 apiece. So if we sell our wonderful hat collection, that is 198 money we can make from selling hats that we can just get from straw that's just in the river nearby. I mean, also that's a finite thing. I imagine it grows over the sort of spring or whatever, but there we go. Ah, and we can buy flax from him. We can buy flax, which is, oh, that's really expensive. It's really expensive, but... There we go. We've made a bit of money on selling some wonderful, wonderful, homemade, beautiful hats. And you know what? With our new career now absolutely set up as a milliner, so, you know, a person who makes hats and then a hat salesman, which is also very exciting. With that all done, I think we're going to finish things up with medieval dynasty for now. I think it's a really good point to leave things. We can you know, imagine that Rasimir goes on to lead this settlement to really glorious and wonderful things. I have enjoyed this game. There are a few things I do think need a little bit of work. I mean, it's very slow to move around is what I would say. It takes an awfully long time to play this game. Running between the settlements, running between people, a fast travel option would be absolutely wonderful. You could get so much more stuff done because it just takes so long. It takes so long running between the different kind of places Places. And as lovely as it is, as pretty as it looks, particularly now with all the sort of trees or lovely colours, there is only you know, so much excitement you can get from running along the path from here to Gostovia again. I mean, you know, we've ran along that path goodness knows how many times. Nothing happens on that path. It looks the same. And I just simply just point them, point my character in the right direction and then just press the sprint button. And when he gets worn out, I let go of the sprint button. And then he sprints again when he's got his strength back. So, you know, it's, it's very lovely. It's very pretty. I kind of get it. I get they want you to have this full experience of, yes, it's what it's like as a peasant. But, you know, it kind of, it takes a long time. It takes an awful a long time to play this game and you know there are some really good bits there are some very good bits i do like the sort of massive range of crafting options I, it's a little bit kind of it's a it's a tricky thing to make money i would say it seems to be quite hard to make money making money is not a straightforward thing now i wouldn't imagine it'd be you know, you just sort of start thinking hooray i'm incredibly rich brilliant but you know, i mean we just sold a massive load of hats which we yeah okay we sort of made for free i guess by you know, grabbing the straw and stuff but they didn't sell for that much Obviously, yeah, it comes up comes with 50 in our thing, in our inventory. It said 50, but then when we sold them, they were 18 each. They were less than half of what we should have possibly got for them. So it's really quite difficult to make money. And yeah, the farming was quite tricky as well because of the fact that you have to put the fertilizer down. And the fertilizer was quite expensive. We had to buy that from the sort of the, yeah, the manure man back at Gostovia. And it was really expensive. It was 10. So it was 10, uh, 10 money per bit of fertilizer and one bit of fertilizer, I believe, covered one square. So this whole field, I think is it. How big is this field? I don't know. Even if it's 20, let's say it's 20 sort of squares. That's 200 gold we have to get just to put the fertilizer down. And then, of course, then we have to put the you know, the seeds down. We do have some seeds, I suppose. But you know, it just takes it takes a lot of effort to get kind of the field in. And yeah, you know, I just think some bits, it just needs a little bit of rebalancing, I think. It needs a little bit of rebalancing to maybe reduce the amount of time you're sort of wandering about and just sort of walking about and more time actually doing stuff, more crafting, more farming, more planting. It was also very tricky to get the people on board. I mean, yeah, OK, we've done all right this time. But the whole point, as yeah, I see it anyway, is that you have this settlement. You have a settlement under your control and people come here. They do lots of work. It's all wonderful. And it's been really difficult to get people here. It's been very tricky to get people to join us. I and mean, I'm not even entirely sure that Chappie is doing anything in here. We have got him assigned to the hunting lodge. Is he even doing any hunting or is he still stood in his house? <laughs> I'm not sure. Shall we go and check? One last thing. Let's just go and have a little nosy. Oh, look, the traps are sprung. Let's go and have a little look. Yeah, he's just stood in his house with his arms crossed. This is not hunting, my good sir. So, you know, there are a few things that need to be sorted out. But uh, I think we've given it a good look. We've given it a good look and we'll keep an eye on it. We will keep an eye on it because, you know, as they progress, it's in early access. They'll be developing it. They'll be changing it around and adding bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. But it's a very good game. It's a lot of fun. It's just, it's just very slow. It's very, very slow to play. It's just a kind of a nice patient game. And, you know, I, I think 
it would be nice if things could just be hurried along a tiny, tiny little bit. There is a lot of nothingness going on. For example, as well, just to, just to sort of uh, hammer the point home, uh, collecting all those uh, reeds over there, where we got the massive big armfuls of reeds to make all the hats. Well, this, obviously the reeds turned to straw to make the hats. Uh, you have to go through up to each individual one and then go and pick them up. And I mean, I get it. That's what you would have had to do in ye olde medieval times. It's just quite time consuming. It's very time consuming. But of course, I mean, yeah, it plays uh, It plays quite nicely. It looks very pretty. It looks very lovely. It's a lovely looking game. Obviously, now we're in sort of autumn and all the trees are very beautiful. At nighttime, it gets realistically dark. I mean, it's not great for YouTube videos, but it gets very, very dark at nighttime as it would in ye olde medieval times. So, you know, that's kind of accurate there. I like that. And then, and yeah, yeah, I, I like the sort of the atmosphere of what they've got and everything. Some of the quests probably need to be ironed out a tiny little bit. And it would be nicer if you could just get to certain key things a little bit easier. So say some of the tech stuff. I mean, you know, the fact that we have to really sort of struggle and sort of, uh, sort of you know, really work hard to get ourselves access to get arrows seems a little bit you, know, you can go yeah i've got a bow and then it's a bit right now you need to work again to get some arrows it's a bit sure the bow should come with the arrows they're kind of independently useless bow and arrows should be the thing you buy <laughs> no point buying a load of arrows or a bow on its own like we did because they're just kind of independently pointless so yeah it would be nice and yeah the fishing hook it'd be nice if we could have got this in but survival just goes up too slowly the survival kind of stuff goes up way too slowly. So, you know, a little bit of balancing will do this game absolute wonders. But uh, yeah, we'll finish up for now. We'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how it develops because it's been a lot of fun to play. But I think we've kind of got to a point where, yeah, we've seen how it works. We've got people in settlement. It's all looking good. We've been hunting. We've got a bow. And now we've got an entirely new, wonderful career as a milliner, somebody who makes hats. And then we can go and sell the hats as well. And that's Rasimir's future. That's what this whole settlement is going to be known as. It's going to be known as the Settlement of Hats. It can be Hat Town. There we go. We've named it. It's Hat Town. People can come and live in Hat Town. And the whole place is going to be you know, entirely focused around the economy of making hats and selling hats. And it shall be glorious. So yeah, we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this, you know, this episode and the series as a whole. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the oldie medieval times and also in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly, I suspect. <laughs> My God, it's Pengu. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have to put the engine bit. I feel that might be a problem in making a car. I've broken the windscreen. It's, en it's ending badly. It's ending very badly indeed. I might crash into a tree. How do I do any of the stuff with this car?